This is Suzanne Wagner and I am doing my numerology and astrology for the 11th of December 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 11. You can add the one and the one together to get the number two. Now, we like the 11. The 11 is a very high resonance number. It's a number of transcendence and cosmic consciousness and non-dual thinking. And the two, we always say if you collapse and you aren't willing to embrace the vibration of the number 11, you can actually collapse down into the two, which is the number of negative mind or critical mind. So you start finding fault, um, you condescend, you put other people down, um, you overthink things, you don't sleep well. So obviously pulling it towards the 11 is a good thing, but <coughs> also recognizing if you are allowing your mind to have too much control over your life is also probably a good thing. This number 11 asks us to risk expanding when it seems the world wants to contract. Opening is the gift that is not only just for others, but for expressing the freedom and joy that is who we are. The number 11 is about envisioning the possibilities. The number two is about using the mind as a slave to the soul that can help the soul manifest that possibility. Too often we end up allowing the mind to have way too much control over our life and the mind is designed to protect and defend against things that might cause us harm. But in doing that, it can thwart many of the great dreams that would be possible if the mind had not been allowed to enslave the soul. Today, notice if you are listening too much to your thoughts, notice if you have dreams that have not yet come to pass, and notice if it is time to let some of those dreams out of the box and into the creative processes that may help you manifest much more in this life. The astrology today. The moon is in Cancer and it'll have a tendency to calm us down until it shifts into Gemini in the afternoon. Begin this day with those things that are familiar and sweet. More will be on the way and there is a friendliness that desires to share with others and give the gifts of connection and concern. Be proud of what you can manage to accomplish today. Know that helping others is a way to teach by example. Don't let the disruptive time of the holidays stop you from doing those things that matter to you personally. We are in a nurturing mood and it is perfect for what needs to be accomplished over the next few weeks. Enjoy the process. Thanks everyone.